he got that. Hands, I prefer on the belt or below the belt. Okay. My hands are up here, they're in danger. They're in here, I gotta get them out. Because then I'm all in his zone. I wanna keep this to a minimum. I'm here. We're gonna go over my disengage technique. All right, pretty much, I'm here. Just my weight is coming down on him. You guys didn't, you saw him just open his guard. What happened, close the guard again, Chris? I didn't do like some people grinding, because that crap don't work. Especially against a skilled player, it doesn't work. I'm just here, the weight, Alone, this is gonna make him pop. So this pressure, this pressure from here, without me doing this, this isn't pressure. This just gives a limited amount of pressure when I pre place my elbow here. This is my whole body weight on him. All right, so I popped him. I'm here, maintain. Trying to come up on the wrist. He's gotta come up. Keep in mind, I just raised my head. Okay, if I stay down like here, when he comes up to me, come up, pull me in, pull me in. It's easy for him to pull me in. Even if my hands are below the belt. It's easy. So he has my head then. Let me tell you something, people. Where the head goes, the body follows. If my head is above my hips, and what I mean by that, here's my hips. My head goes a little before, above it, grab pull my arm, Chris. It's easy for me to go. And him to do all kind of fancy smancy crap that I'm not gonna allow. So I like to keep my hips forward. This is the object. If I have to, put my head back. Attempt to grab me now, Chris. Now I can fight. My head is back. He can do all kind of stuff. My hips are still forward. I can fight. Okay? He has to do all the work. I'm just sitting here enjoying, watching, laughing. Look at all this movement he has to do. Because if I don't go down, he doesn't get anything. Okay? So he does all that. Keep working, Chris. He does all that. That's great. That's great. Show the easiest guard escape. Look at this. Look at this. Look what he's having to do. I took him out of his element, out of his world. I don't know what little fairy said, you can't get up. But let me tell you something, people, it's a lie. You can stand up. You know, if somebody's doing something you don't like, get up. Get out. Okay? Disengage his technique, bring him into your world. Once again, wrap around him. This is basic. The easiest guard is I mean, there's a ton of great ones. I mean, yes, coming under, flipping them over and all that. All that's great. But sometimes, hey, you tired? Do you have time for that? Okay, this is simplicity here. I'm simplifying it. So, here I am. I've made myself up. I'm up. Come attack me, Chris. I'm up here. I'm up. Okay? Hey, I can grab my legs, whatever. He can grab for what he wants. This choke's not going to work unless I go down. As long as I keep my body up, and to do that, I can't be like that. My hips have to be forward. So if any time you're weak, throw your hips forward. Hips forward, head back. Keep pulling, Chris. Let him pull. Let him pull. Look, I'm stepping out. If he wants to grab my leg, he's going to have to let go of his collar. That's fine. I'm pull. Pull. I'm out. I'm on him. Okay? It works. Come in one. Okay? He's bigger, stronger. So I really have to be on my P's and Q's. Let's say I started now. Okay? Which happens? Start grabbing me one. That's fine. Look at my hips. They're in. Here I am. I'm grabbing right here on them. Keep my hands in. Elbows are in. I'm going to work myself to the back. Okay? Pull on me. He's going to pull on my head to keep me down. He has to keep me down. That's fine. Watch this roll to me. Come out. Roll under. Watch again. He's pulling on me. Okay, that's fine. Come outward. Roll. Look. Position should look, position should look very familiar. I am up again. Here I am. I got some lean. Now for a bigger guy, this is much harder for him to reach up. Okay? So, I really want to, hey, let him. Right below the belt or on the belt. Here I am. Keeping the pressure. Reach up towards me, Juan. Look at that. Look how far he had to go. Okay? His guard came out. He gave me everything I needed. I'd be a fool to go forward when I can just go backwards. Most people will say, oh, great, I'm here. Come forward, hop around, do all that. It works, but let's be smart. Work smarter, not harder. So once again, reach for me. Look at that. He just gave me an exit out the game. That's what I want. I'm holding. I can grab some pants. 
But I don't just want to push. I want to start disengaging. I mean, going outward. Okay? I'm going away. Look. As I move, what does he have to do? He's coming with me. He's following. Keep following. Look. Look what I got. I'm up. I'm out. Okay? The fight does continue. The whole fight is nothing more than a circle. I can keep it here. I can go for it back. I can let him go. Okay? Different about me, America. I know how to throw people. I ain't scared. Okay? I don't have to stay on my knees. I can slam him to the ground, which will hurt perfectly in the street. But it works also in the sports arena. Okay? So here we go. Keep in mind, this is a disengage technique. The object, get the hand on the belt or below the belt. Okay? I'm in. He's got me. We're starting from the worst position. I have to disengage from this. Here's another technique. I can come under the armpit, right under there. Put a little pressure if I need to. See how he's moving? It don't feel good. You make people not feel good, they're going to move. All right? So I'm here, steadily pushing forward. If I need to, if I can just come back, great. If I can't, remember, out, around. He has to come to me, and that's what I want. Throw your hooks in on me, Juan. I know people are thinking, oh, yeah, what if I just do that? That's fine. I don't care. Hook me. Try and ride me. Throw, throw the legs out. It's going to be difficult for him. If I have my head this way, well, yeah, I might fly, but I'm not going to do that. He got those hooks in deep. I'm here. I just come. That's fine. I got the hook. Break a little. One leg at a time, people. Get one free. Here I am going back. I'm home. Let's walk Chris come in. Chris has longer legs for you non-believers. Get in. Non-believers. <laughs> hook the legs. Hook, hook, hook me out my legs. All right, Dan, nice and good. I want you to launch me right now. Launch me. Just straighten your legs out. Okay, that's what everybody's worried about, that right there. Yes, that can work, okay? So can every other move in the book. What you have to do is beat him to what he's trying to do. Remember that. You have to beat him to what he's trying to do. So, here, hook in. I'm going to let him get the hooks deep. Now, if you let him do that, shame on you. Shame on you. That's fine. Here I am. I'm just going to keep my heads up. Head goes up. He's got the hooks in. Whoop B. He got to come up. I'm, he has to come up. He can't just get me without coming up. So that's fine. Look. Straight the leg. That one's out. Okay? I'm still going to disengage on this guy. Still. Eventually he got to stand up or encourage all that beautiful rep. 